Hi guys, Sandy from The Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to compare and view the difference between the top models for the bull paddle range. So that's the Hack and the Vertex. Now I'm excited about this review because I had a bull paddle racket about six or seven years ago, and I know that technology has improved so much, particularly with this brand in the last couple of years. I'm also, at the end of the video, gonna look at the Hexacore grip and give my thoughts and opinions on that grip. But if you haven't subscribed already, please click subscribe so you can see all of these reviews and all of the videos that we post on a weekly basis. So we're gonna start with the hack, which is the Paquito Navarro racket. Um, this they call a diamond shape or a hybrid diamond shape. Um, for me, there's quite a big difference in the shape between these rackets. I would say that this, the Vertex is a diamond shape. This is probably slightly more teardrop shape. Um, the balance is towards the middle here. It's actually a really nice balance. When you pick it up and you're kind of swinging it around a little bit, it feels, it feels quite good. Um, I, I, I like, like the feel of it. The weight is probably just about right for, for me. It's uh, around that 370 grams, 372 grams uh, around there. I've weighed them both with overgrips on, so it would probably be slightly less um, if you were just kind of weighing it straight from the factory. Um, but first impressions with this, it feels quite nice. So having hit with this racket, and I have done the last couple of days hitting with both of them, I feel like this is the harder end of the spectrum. It's quite a compact uh, shot impact. When you hit the ball, you do definitely feel that it's a little bit harder. You don't get the vibrations up your arm like you do with some hard rackets. Um, you still have kind of nice control on it, but it's definitely for those that like a harder impact, like a harder shot, um, and it's for probably more of a power game. I would recommend this for kind of high, moderate to high intermediate and above. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend this racket for a beginner just because the impact is quite hard. Although having said that, the feeling on it and the balance of it, it does feel quite nice. Um, I did like this racket, um, but my opinion is, is it's quite a hard racket, um, which is fine if your performance. So now looking at the Vertex, which is the Maxi Sanchez racket, um, it's got a rough surface. So this racket is, has a smooth surface, this one's rough. Whether it makes much difference on the shot, other than a bit of surface friction, uh, is debatable. Um, I don't think it does make a big difference, but it's quite nice if, if you like that type of thing. Um, as we mentioned before, a diamond racket, uh, but the balance is very similar to the Hack. Um, it's a nice balance midway up the racket. It doesn't feel too head heavy. Again, you get a nice feeling from this racket when you've got it in your hand. Um, the weight is good. It's again between around 370 to 372. So this is a nice racket for, for most kind of adult players, I would say. Um, so I'm gonna try and hit a few balls with it. So having hit with it, I really feel like it's a good combination of power and control. Um, it's quite hard and it gives a really kind of hard sound to it when you hit, but actually um, it's not that hard on impact. Um, you can kind of feel like it's a little bit softer than the hack um, and you get really nice control from this racket from the back of the court and from the front of the court. And you kind of do feel like the, the kind of sweet spot and the power is from the top half of the racket, which is great for kind of attacking smashes or attacking at net. Um, I have to say, I really did enjoy playing with this racket. Um, out of the two, this would be my preference. I do prefer uh, a slightly softer racket. So if you do also prefer a softer racket, this is definitely softer than the Hack. Um, but both of them are good rackets. Again, I would say that this is from kind of moderate intermediate to advanced, like they, they recommend uh, on their website. But I think you could get away with this if you were someone new to the game and you're a beginner, because it is a little bit softer and you do get a little bit more control on that ball. It gives you nice power for how soft it is, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is again, a good racket. Uh, I would definitely recommend this one. If I had to choose between the two, I would choose this one. So now we're gonna talk about the Hexacore grip. Now this is something that's been brought out by Bull Paddle relatively recently. And the idea is that it's a honeycomb grip that you can kind of wrap your hand around and your fingertips go into the kind of holes in the grip, which means that theoretically um, you shouldn't have to squeeze as hard because your hand is kind of comfortable uh, in that position. And the idea is it's also rubber, so it removes a lot of the vibrations that you get from the impact of the ball, therefore being better for your elbow and your shoulder. 
Now, personally, um, I mean, I've played about 25 years with a normal grip from tennis and then to paddle. So it's a bit unnatural for me uh, to begin with. And one thing I did find is that I like to make minute kind of movements uh, on the grip while I'm playing. And what was happening is I was kind of slipping out of that honeycomb shape. And therefore I was almost having to grip more because my hand was in a, a bit of an unnatural position for me. Um, so after playing for about an hour and a half with this racket, I really kind of felt my forearm um, had been used quite a lot. Now, the question is, is whether I would get used to that um, or, or whether that's something that would always be an issue. I think I would probably get used to it uh, after playing with it for a while, um, but I think my preference would be for a normal grip. Now this again is just a preference. Um, I think that when it comes to choosing this, this again should be your preference. Um, I don't think it's gonna make a major difference uh, with the way you play, but if you like it and it's comfortable and you don't move your hand very much, then it probably is quite a good grip for you because you can get a good grip once your fingers go into those holes. So um, that would be my review for the hexagon grip. If, if you like that and you try it and it works well, perfect. And um, if not, stick to the traditional style grip. I know many of you probably use the ball paddle rackets. So if you do, let me know down in the descriptions what you think of the rackets. This is my opinion today and yours might be completely different, which is absolutely fine. Um, and I'll also put the other reviews for the other rackets on this side.